In this video, I will show you how to use Agent Force Agents in Slack. But first, let's take a look at the agent that we'll be using. It is a conference management agent, and it has a number of actions to help you manage all the aspects of a conference. So for example, let's ask for a list of sessions about DevOps. Now, the agent is going to reason over all the available actions to find the best way to answer that question. And there you go. It looks like we have three DevOps sessions. And if we look at the planner, you will see that the agent used the Get Conference Sessions action, which makes a lot of sense. Now, let's go back to the agent and ask to bookmark these sessions. Now, to answer that question, the agent knows that it has to identify the attendee. So let's provide an email address. And again, the agent is going to reason over all these actions to find the best way to bookmark the sessions. And there you go. It bookmarked the three DevOps sessions. And if I look at the planner, you will see that it used the bookmark conference sessions action, that it was successful, and that three records were created. So it looks like this agent is working as expected. So let's see how we can use it in Slack. But before we go to Slack, let's take a look at the configuration. So first, in the Slack settings, you will have to connect to a Salesforce org, which we did here. Then, in Salesforce, you can see how we mapped the Salesforce users to the Slack users. In this case, we used email, but you can also map users manually. Then, in the Slack settings, you can install the specific agent that you want to use. And finally, in your agent definition, you'll have to click the Connections tab. And here you can create connections to all sorts of clients, but we just created a connection to Slack. All right, that's it. Now we can go to Slack to test the agent. Now let's select the agent for service agent. And here I can type any question, but Slack understand the capabilities of these agents and recommend some questions that I could ask. So for example, let's select this question. Can you help me find sessions about artificial intelligence? Now, again, this is the exact same agent, so it's going to go over the exact same actions. And here is my list of sessions about AI. Awesome. So now I'm going to ask the agent to do something a little more complicated. Generate personalized schedule. Now, again, to answer that question, the agent needs to know who the attendee is. So let's type an email address. And again, the agent is going to reason over all these actions, but this time it's going to be a little more complicated because first we want to look at everything we know about that attendee, maybe sessions that they attended at previous conferences and any other activity. Then we're going to look at the sessions for this conference and the agent is going to reason and find the best session for that specific attendee. And here is the personalized schedule with only sessions that are relevant. Notice also that the agent was able to reason and make sure that sessions don't overlap and they are even lunch breaks. Awesome. All right, so if you like these sessions, we can do, again, the exact same thing and ask the agent to bookmark these sessions, just like we did before. And again, the agent is going to reason over the available actions. And there you go. It bookmarked 19 sessions. Awesome. Now, you may have noticed that in Agent Builder, we also had some Slack action. So let's try something different here. Add schedule to canvas named conference schedule. All right, so this time the agent reasons over the actions. It should find an action that lets it create a canvas.
And there you go. It created a Slack canvas and it even gave me a link. So let's open it. And here's my conference schedule in a Slack canvas. Awesome. Now let's go back to Salesforce and take a look at the record of that user. So you see that before we started working with the agent, we had no bookmarks. So now I'm going to refresh the page and you will see all the bookmarks that we've been adding along the way. Awesome. And this is really how easy it is to create agents and use them in Slack. Now to get started, go over to the Slack documentation and you will see that with just a few simple steps, you too can use Agent Force agents in Slack.